بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The first practical lab is about light microscopy The objective learning of this lesson is knowledge about different parts of the light microscope and how to use the light microscope What's the meaning of light microscope? Light microscope is an instrument used in the examination of the invisible objects which cannot be seen by the naked eye. Light microscope is composed of three main parts. Mechanical part, optical part, and light source. Mechanical part is consisting of the following body of the microscope it is represent representing the main parts of the microscope on which the other parts are set up يعني هو الجزء او الباكبون للمجهر اللي بقية الاجزاء تثبت عليه the body of the microscope includes Body tube. Body tube contain mirrors and the prism that transmit the image from the objective lens to the ocular lens. هذا الجزء من الميكانيكال بارتي هو يسمى بالبودي تيوب. البودي تيوب يحتوي لنا على mirrors أو مرايا وموشور ينقل لنا الصورة من الأوبجكتيف لينس إلى الأوكولار لينس. The second part, body or arm, used for holding of the microscope. And the third part of the body of the microscope is called base or foot, used for standing or supporting of the microscope. The other parts of the mechanical parts, it is called the stage in Manassa. It is a part on which the object is fixed and it is adjustable. That means it is can change the on x, y direction as well as up and down. يعني هذه المنصة التي توضع عليها العينة لها القدرة على الحركة أو التغيير للأعلى والأسفل وكذلك على المحوري الصيني والصادي Mechanical stage knobs There are two types of the mechanical stage knobs Used to movement of the stage on the X and Y direction يستخدم هذه العجلتين لتغيير العينة أو تغيير الستيج على محوري الصيني والصادي Focus adjustment knobs There are two knobs Fine adjustment knobs and coarse adjustment knobs العجلة الكبيرة تسمى بالcoarse adjustment knob والعجلة الصغيرة تسمى بال fine adjustment knob. What the benefit of the focus adjustment knobs? Used to changing the distance between the object on the one side or slide and objective on the other side. يعني هي تحركنا المسافة ما بين العينة من جهة وما بين الأوبجكتيف لينس من جهة لغرض توضيح الصورة. آينس دايفرام طبعا هذا يكون موجود تحت المنصة. What the benefit of the iris diaphragm? Control the amount of the light which enter the condenser lens. Slide holder or clips 
called clips used for fixing of the object on the stage يعني يستخدم لتثبيت العينة أو الشريحة الزجاجية على المنصة Revolving disc used to move the objective lens or objective lenses from one to another يعني تحرك انت نريد تكبير من أربعة إلى عشرة أو من عشرة إلى أربعين نستخدم revolving disc أو قرص الدوار انتهينا من الجزء الرئيسي وهو الميكانيكال بارت نيجي إلى الجزء الآخر اللي هو الأوبتيكال بارت consist of three systems of lenses condenser lens first condenser lens which located beneath the stage and condenses the light before it passes through the specimen to be more illuminated and is brighter يعني تستخدم هذه لتكثيف الإضاءة المارة من خلالها من مصدر الإضاءة يمر خلال العينة ليصبح أكثر وضوح ولمعان The other types of the optical part is called objective lenses There are magnifying this specimen and sending it image to the ocular lens يعني وظيفته هنا شنو؟ تكبر لنا الصورة الموجودة بالعينة ومن ثم ترسلها إلى الأوكولار لينس عدسات العينية There are two types of the objective lenses Low power magnification of objective lens Magnify the object 4x and 10x and the other types high power magnification of objective lens including my objective that magnify 40x and objective that that magnify 100x or called oil immersion lens and the noin in the objective lens يا أما low power اللي تشمل لنا 4x تكبير أكبر 4x و 10x أو high power تشمل لنا تكبير 40x و 100x The third part of the optical part is called ocular lens or eyepiece What's the benefit of the ocular lens? Magnify the image a second time and sending the final image to the viewer's retina or photographic plate. The magnification power usually 10x. The eyepiece or the ocular lens or the adesat al aynia وظيفته يتكبر لنا الصورة للمرة الثانية وترسل الصورة إلى إلى العين أو إلى الشاشة. The other parts, as well as mechanical parts and optical parts, the presence of the light source. Usually, sunlight or electrical bulb light. In both cases, the wavelength of the light is limited. How to calculate the total magnification power? The total magnification power is obtained by multiplying the magnifying power of the objective and ocular lenses. يعني حاصل الضرب ما بين قيمة ال objective lens مع ال ocular lens. Magnification power of the objective lens: 4x, 10x, 40x, or 100x. And the magnification power of the ocular lens is 10x. For example, 
4x by 10x equal to 40x. 10x by 10x equal to 100x. يعني هنا تكون قوة التكبير أما 40 إذا استخدمنا العدسة العينية الشيئية الصغيرة وتكون 100x إذا استخدمنا العدسة الشيئية ذات العشرة x Other example 40x by 10x equal to 400x and 100x by 10x equal to 1000x. How can you use the light microscope? Clean the glass lenses using the special filter and also clean the slide and then put the slide on the stage and fix it by the slide holder. Switch on the light source by this screw. Use the smallest objective lens. طبعا اللي هي ذات التكبير 4x اللي هي أصغر عدسة شيئية. Move the slide to correct the position by using of mechanical stage knobs. طبعا هذه mechanical stage knobs كما ذكرنا سابقا تستخدم لتصحيح الموقع عن طريق حركة الستيج أو الاسبيسمن أو السلايد على محوري السيني والصادي Use the course focus adjustment knob to clear the image of the object عندما نستخدم العدسة الصغيرة 4x نستخدم أو 10x أيضا نستخدم معها الكورس adjustment knobs Magnify the image by changing the objective lenses to the higher one. يعني بالبداية نستخدم 4x ومن ثم نحولها إلى 10x ونوضح الصورة باستخدام ال course adjustment knob. إذا نحتاج إلى تكبير أكبر نستخدم العدسة الشيئية ذات التكبير 40x أو 100x. Use the fine focus knob to clear the image. يعني ما نستخدم العجلة الكبيرة للتوضيح بهذه الحالة. نستخدم العجلة الصغيرة اللي تسمى fine focus knob لعدم كسر السلايد. Use the special oil on using oil immersion lens. يعني إذا استخدمنا أعلى تكبير اللي هي 100x. يجب استخدام قطرة زيت توضع على العينة. Always clean this lens by xylol. ننظفها باستخدام الزايلول. ننظف العدسة من الزيت وكذلك السلايد باستخدام مادة الزايلول. Return back the objective lens to the smallest one اللي هي 4x. Take the slide off and clean it and put it on the slide box. This video explains how can you use the light microscope. This is a compound light microscope. We call it compound because light passes through two lenses, one here and one here. So first of all, this part of the light microscope is the arm. We grab from the arm and we support from the base. This part is the stage and these are stage adjustment knob moving the stage from the back and right and left. This part is a nose piece holding the objective lenses and each objective lens has a color code, a different colored line or stripe showing the magnification power. This is four. And this is 10, this is 40 times object events.
fine adjustment now. So how do we begin? Turn on the microscope. See the light coming up. You can adjust the light with diaphragm as well if necessary. Okay. First make sure the shortest one, the low power objective lens, the 4 is Turn on, make sure it's turned on, and then make sure the stage is down. Okay. And then we fix this light onto the stage with the stage clips. Okay. Make sure the sample is right in the center of light before you start looking through the eyepiece lens. Make sure it's right on top of light. So as we as we look through, you can also adjust the the length according to your eye by using this. Use the coarse adjustment knob only to move the stage up. And we make fine adjustment knob as well. Whenever we need to turn to a higher magnification, we rotate. We never use the coarse adjustment knob anymore, just the fine adjustment knob. Change the magnification. Just the fine adjustment knob, the coarse adjustment knob we, no, we don't use. When you're done, before touching anything else, make sure you turn back to the shortest one and then by using the coarse adjustment knob, make sure the stage is down, okay, and then take the slide out. This is how we use the compound light microscope. Thank you.